When I was, you know, a kid, I pretty much was interested in the same things I'm, you know, interested in now. Why does the world look like the world looks? My mother was a huge influence because my mother used to make me write essays when I was a child. Uh, my dad was a huge influence because there were books all over my house. I just was a really, really curious kid. I was not a particularly good student at Howard University. I was a much better journalist than I was a student, and I wasn't a particularly great journalist, but I was a decent one. Once I realized that people would pay you to write, I mean, who needs school after that? So I started in journalism when I was 20 years old. I began with an internship at the Washington City Paper, an alternative paper here in Washington, D.C. My first editor was the late, great, incredible, incredible David Carr, recovering drug addict, recovering alcoholic, but was a tremendous teacher and editor. Your best friend if you got it right, and your worst enemy if, if, if you got it wrong. I used to be like just so afraid of the job to conceptualize stories, to go out to get people to talk about these awkward stories. And then finally to get, you know, every little fact right was just extremely, extremely difficult for a 20-year-old kid. Probably the hardest one I had to do was about homeless people who were being hired to evict other people. And the only way I could confirm it was I just had to go to the homeless shelter. It was the most awkward, counterintuitive thing in the world. I'll never forget the first guy I talked to, excuse me, do you evict people? And he said, no, I don't evict people, but that guy over there does. And then the story just, you know, opened up. And it was a great lesson about how so much of the fear of journalism is really in your own head. It has nothing to do with actually, like, the pain of actually doing the job. It's like, like, pain in life is like that. So much of the pain is what's in your head. What I would say that journalism has taught me is I'm a lot tougher than I thought I was. The kind of journalism I do, it goes through processes. And you start usually with something really, really bad. And you have to, over a period of time, work it, you know, re-report it, rewrite it, until it gets to something that, that's readable. You see, the thing is that there are no right answers. No, no, there are satisfactory answers, but there are no right answers. And even the satisfactory answers, at the end of the day, ultimately just lead you to more questions. Writing is hard, but it is, it is joyous. Besides my family, it's the best part of my day. <laughs>